Hey, it's Eric here at Peachtree Classic Cars and I'm super excited about this vehicle. It is a 1953 uh, 50th anniversary F100 and there's a lot of really special things about this truck. It's, uh, it's the first year of the F100. It's a 50th anniversary. Uh, it's the last year they put a 239 flathead V8 in it and I pulled the VIN code. It's the R code is a 239. So we believe that the engine that's original. Um, this is a beautiful driver restoration that was done a couple of years ago. We're going to take her for a quick spin. It's been a little cold here in Georgia, so normally I do a cold startup, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I've already got it running since I pulled it down here. We're gonna just take off, take this thing for a spin. So this truck has actually a surprising amount of power. test probably about that much wander in the steering wheel which is pretty minimal so very here I'll uh, drive and put the camera back where you can see my hand so this is me driving straight you know using that much movement to keep the steering wheel straight is pretty pretty minimal and uh, whoever did this restoration I, I just feel like they did a really good job I'm I'm really I'm proud of the restoration that they did I would call this a, a uh, really, really nice driver restoration, or I would call this a, I might even I'd be careful to call it a, like an entry level show quality restoration. I think that was done a couple of years ago. One of the things that I just noticed too, I've only had the truck for a little bit. Uh, we just got it in. We wanted to get it right, uh, get the video done for you right away. So I noticed that the, um, the original temp gauge I know it's not hooked up because they have the alternative temp gauges down here hooked up. One for the left and one for the right water pump, which is great. And then for some reason they didn't hook up the speedometer. The oil pressure gauge is hooked up. The battery gauge is working and I believe the fuel gauge is working as well. The odometer is showing 94,131 original miles. I love the fact that even the original horn works. Nice and loud. So this one thing I like about this truck is got a great sounding exhaust it's not overly aggressive it's cold out here this morning so you see that bit of moisture coming off the en engine really nice sound So I didn't even make it into the driveway before my neighbor pulled me over and said, hey Eric, I've known you for 15 years, I think. That's the prettiest truck I've ever seen you own. And he didn't even get to see under the hood how beautiful this truck is I am gonna go ahead and turn her off now and show you around the truck a little bit it's a super sunny day here it's cold but sunny um, and uh, make I know that makes for a few shadows so I hope it doesn't uh, interfere with you being able to really tell how nice this truck is but rebuilt engine rebuilt transmission uh, factory style um, aftermarket headers put on here which is really cool you know back in the 50s they took these flathead engines and made them hot rods and they put they put uh headers on like this so you've got uh i think an inch and three quarter uh or maybe a, it looks like an inch and three quarter or two inch exhaust going out the back individual headers on both sides which is really nice that's what part of what gives this engine both um a little bit of extra horsepower feeling you know a little extra power when you step on the gas you've got more airflow but also um it's got true dual exhaust all the way out the back with flow masters and it just sounds perfect original air cleaner it's got an upgraded chrome um uh generator and that's a ford generator it says seven volts there i believe this may be actually an eight volt battery just to help it get started a little bit and um 
it's it's you pull the choke a little it's 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 wanting to hiccup just a touch on a real cold morning to get started that's not unusual that's how these flatheads are but inside the fender wells are really nice they're not mint they're not this isn't 100% show, show quality i think with a good cleaning if you look really close you'll see you know it's been being driven and there's some dirt in there and some grease but I think if you took the time to really detail it under the hood, you could have a real show quality under under hood area. So, but that being said, I mean, there's zero rust. This truck was taken completely apart to have it, you know, the restoration done. Beautifully brassed um, radiator, original radiator with a aftermarket uh, overflow on the side, which is really nice. All Ford parts. I mean, these are some, whoever did this said, hey, I'm going to buy, you know, the right parts for this and use the official official parts wherever they could the, the hood one another thing that i like is the hood opens and closes easily which is kind of rare i've actually got a 54 shop truck that's my truck and I, my hood is cantankerous i mean i have to walk to one side and push it walk to the other side and push it down i mean this hood opens and closes perfectly the body lines are great doors open and shut nice just got done wet sanding and buffing this truck and it looks like about a brand new paint job i'm gonna guess that the truck was uh, restored about probably about two or three years ago and it's been being driven and enjoyed so it has a few little things that keep it from being perfect it's not a concourse show truck this isn't a you know sixty five thousand dollar barrett jackson truck and and, I, and you do you see trucks like this go really high but a few little things to notice the grill uh, that's making uh, is one of the indicators that they call this a deluxe cab. This is basically the, about the most fully loaded truck you could buy back in 1953. Original V8 truck, um, and uh, just absolutely beautiful. Nice new chrome bumper, um, just a re-chromed, you know, hood ornament. Actually, maybe this is just a really nice original condition. Now that I'm looking really, really close, I see. If you look super, super close, I can't even get it in the camera. Just that, you know, that probably has not been re-chromed probably a brand new emblem on the front these look like very good original condition side pieces so it's tough to tell that the truck is in in that good a condition what uh what is original and what's been redone um or repurchased or repopped so you know beauty rings with the ford center caps uh, brand new Bridgestone Dueler HT tires all the way around. Uh, as far as absolute imperfections on the truck, um, there's only a few spots that I see. Like way down low here, there's a little chip. Um, cab corners are in great shape. I don't know of any rust. If we get really, really close down here, there's a little, you know, weak spot in the paint a little spot there i mean i think i just want to if i want to try to get really anal with the truck i like the fact that they put the little chrome piece here i mean the bed is in excellent condition the um a few little dents if you look really really close they may be even hard to catch on the camera but just a couple of spots where you know i mean this is a 1953 years ago somebody probably threw some two by fours in here and you know or some bags of whatever and it, it's got a brand new oak bed strips look awesome stainless steel strips if you get really close you'll notice there's a crack there that's not unusual you know after a couple of years um really really close here a few checks in the paint i mean this is just me being extremely particular because you can't see this stuff unless you get right, right up on it. You'll notice there's a couple of little checks here and there's one spot. I try really hard to get in the camera there. I can't, can't quite get that. So, um, beautiful, beautiful truck. Like I said, not perfect, but you know, door panels are in great shape. It's got a nice um, looking original floor uh, rubber mat. The seat's been recovered probably a few years back and it just sits nice and comfortable. Didn't even try this yet. Look at there, the light even comes on. Inner dome light, that's awesome. I didn't try that yet. I've actually, I am filming this video. I have had this truck less than 24 hours. <laughs> so I wanted to get the video right out to you and uh, let you see the truck. This, uh, 
has a tendency to want to pop open if you stomp on the gas. So there, but here's the awesome thing. This is the, actually another first for me. I don't think I've ever seen the original keys. It's our original key work in the original. Let's see, I did this yesterday. I had to unlock it. That actually locks. Look at that. That's freaking awesome. Original key. I didn't try the door. Oh, we could do it. I know that's the original key for the. Let's see. I may or may not be using the right key. Oh yeah, there we go. Well, I'd be using the wrong key. So I don't want to waste a bunch of time on the camera. Yep, there we go. Look at that. That's the door key right there. You know, to lock it, which is awesome. And then the fact that it's got a lock on the driver's side is actually pretty rare. Um, that's extremely rare, in fact, because usually um, they didn't. They only put locks on the passenger side. It's a gentleman kind of thing. But like I said, deluxe cab, you have a lock on that side too. Window open up and down nicely. Uh, beautiful dash. Uh, the heater works. I think you have to have the key in the on position. Um, I think it's supposed to be a two-speed blower. Um, I know that if you click it once and then click it the second time, it doesn't, it doesn't it respond in the second speed. But that is the original heater and it's for functional, which is awesome. I'm going a little long. This is one of the nicer trucks I've had. So I'm probably taking a little bit extra time. You know, step ups are nice. I believe they, are re they were replaced with fiberglass. So I think that might be one piece that's not original. When I get down underneath here, I notice that this is fiberglass. So yeah, at least we know it will never rust. And I think that's the only fiberglass part I've seen on the entire truck. Everything else looks, you know, and this is the stuff that makes me, uh, you know, see that, okay, there's a, I said there's no rust. I don't actually even think that's rust. I think that's the undercoating peeling up, you know, undercoating right here, for example. If you start to pull on it, you'll notice that it wants to move. But maybe yeah, that is a little bit of rust. That may be a little bit more than, uh, there's definitely steel behind it. So I was hoping I was going to say that this was a rust free truck, but things like this that show me that these are the original fenders, you know, this wasn't, this wasn't, you know, patched together with fiberglass. So underneath the truck, you can tell that they, at least, you know, when they had the truck apart and they were painting it and everything, this is probably really more like overspray over the original uh, undercoating. So, but I don't see any rust down here. Um, this is a newer newer fuel tank which is awesome Ugh. inside the fender wells are obviously very very nice this is the kind of truck i bought i've bought trucks similar to this before i still think this is probably the nicest one you know look at that that's the original spare tire with a bias ply tire on it but all i was going to say is at local car shows these are the kinds of trucks this kind of truck right here at a local car show is one you're going to collect you're going to collect um, trophies and awards on because very few people are showing up to a local car show with a truck this nice. We'll get up under here too. Okay, little spot of rust there on the side of the battery box. That's not unusual. Other than that, again, on this side as well, you know, cab corners are in great shape underneath showing that under carriage it's a little bit of buffing compound down there that's super low so getting way way down here too just noticing like i said if i'm eagle eyeing the truck there's a couple of little checks in the paint you know where it's just not 100 percent perfect and i may be wrong this may be you know now that i'm looking at it closer this may be a five-year-old you know restoration or something like that so I, it doesn't look like it was just completed yesterday but an absolutely stunning beautiful truck i mean you've got a you know i'm being extra particular just because of the price we're asking for it i think when you're spending this much money you want to know exactly what you're getting i rarely meet customers face to face i try everything i can to be a golden rule guy and um, I'm telling you, this is this is for sure the nicest truck I've ever had. One other thing, I do know the wipers worked. I checked them yesterday. I'm not exactly sure how it happened. Maybe being towed on a trailer and this bobbling. I do have a little bit of a compromise on a scratch on this side and two little, you know, stripes right there on the windshield, which is a little bit of a bummer because you can tell it's new and uh, you can tell that the weather stripping is new and everything. All the window felts are new. Did I? 
I may have locked that on the other side. So I'll have to reach in and do that. I was going to open it up and show you, but the windows roll up and down great. Um, anyways, Peachtree Classic Cars. I try to do 10 minute videos. This one was 15 minutes, but hope you enjoy it.